WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we have a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. Uh, all the sectors, except for the utility sector inside the S&P 500, are doing the same. We've got the Dow down 77 points. That's about two-tenths of a percent. Half a percent for the S&P, or 27 points. Seven-tenths for the NASDAQ, 131. A half percent for the Russell, 12 points. Two percent for the semis, 103-point move there. Three and a half percent for the trannies. Big hit there, 556 to the downside. New York Stock Exchange off a half a percent. We've got gold trading up 25 bucks. Silver is trading off a penny. Light Street Crude is up, uh, is down 14 cents. Natural gas up three pennies. 30-year Treasury is off six ticks. Print out at 124.30. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart will begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand side. So at this stage here, what we have in place is a double top. That double top will go away if we see it close above 57.85. 57.85 is the swing point that has been testing from back in July, July 16th to be exact. And if we did get a close above 57.85, that would tell us about the A to B equals CD pattern with an initial price projection of 6,012. Now, price is back inside its daily profile. Let's open this up here. In order to do that, it needs to close below 57.55.75. And if it does that, it could be signaling to an eye that price wants to pull back to test support. And support is the buy zone between 56.38 and 56.67. Now, price is not going to get down to that 56.38, 56.67 level unless we see the spot volatility index trade above, close above its 50-day exponential moving average. It is not doing that right now. we got quad riching going on today, so a lot of different volatility out here. But this signal here says that the S&P 500 and the ES Mini should rally. Be careful out there. If we take a look at the NQ, it targeted its TD9 count top. Didn't get all the way up to it, but that is the price target. Now, on a pullback, support for it is going to be the top of its daily profile at 19,517. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, still just a sideways consolidation. Several tests of that Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom was confirmed on August 28th. Goldilocks is trying to close above its Rhodes Mentum indicator top. It'll accomplish that task with a close above 2617. If it does that, it says rally on Garth. Now, when we take a look at silver, silver, as I said, was back just a penny or two. Uh, it is running into resistance. That's the top of its daily profile. The level to watch there is 3158. Light Street Crude should uh, head to uh, its descending trend line area in the 74 ish range. Consolidation with inside profile for natural gas. And the same is true for the 30 year Treasury. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fabulous one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.